Okay, the second setup for this lab is a little bit different from the first one. You have a circular shape and then you have a straight line of uh, conducting material. Uh, this might be one of the plates of a capacitor, for example. So it may be a real world uh, example. And with two plates of a capacitor, you will get a uniform field. Now this is not a capacitor, it's just a mixture of uh, a circular shape, or you might want to think about it as a point charge, and then one of the plates of a capacitor. So the same idea, let's test the terminal voltage. Make sure it shows volts and it's direct current. Um, nine volts on one terminal. Well, it's 8.95, so super close to nine. And the other one is zero. Let's make the range reasonable. So nine volts on one side and zero volts on the other. The first equipotential line is once again two volts. So let's find our first point. Looks like somewhere here. Yeah, so it's nine. 8.9 and 10. I'm going to go up a little bit. Yeah, and we got 6, 7, 8. 8 and 11.8. 8 and 11.8. Let's go one over here. So we got 7 and 12.2, 7 and 12.2, now let's go down, get some data from the bottom, right here, so we got two walls at 7.8 and 8, 7.8 and 8. And here, we got 6.2 and 7.5, 6.2. And 7.5, just like that. Those are the points. And we connect them as usual. And that's for two volts. This is the equipotential for two volts value.